So let's get started. First of all, we are going to check whether Java is already installed on our system or not. And then we are going to see how we can install Java. So to check whether Java is already installed, you can just search for CMD and then press enter. And once the command prompt is open, you can uh, just write Java hyphen version here. And if it says Java is not recognized as an internal or external command, that means Java is most probably not installed in your Windows operating system. So let's get started. We are going to just open our browser and search for Java JDK. And the first link which will appear here will be from oracle.com. I'm going to provide the link in the description of this video also. So just open the link which is from oracle.com. So once this website is open, you can see at the time of making this video, Java 14 is the latest version available and you can download it by just clicking on this JDK download link. So I'm going to just click on JDK download, which is going to open this kind of web page. So here you need to just scroll down and locate the Windows operating system executable file. So you can see Windows x64 installer, we will choose this one and you can see this executable file we can download for Java 14. So just click on this uh, link, which is going to start the download of this executable file. In between, you will be asked to just check this checkbox and then click on this download button. So once this executable file is downloaded, I'm going to just click on this file. And now you can see uh, that this installation wizard has been started. So I'm going to just click on next here. And this will be the location where your Java JDK will be installed. So if you don't have the good reason to change it, just leave it as default and then click on next. And then just wait for the installation to complete. And after some time, you will see this message which says Java SE development 14.0.1 successfully installed. That means uh, Java is installed on our Windows operating system. So I'm going to just close this uh, window and let's see where Java is installed on our Windows operating system. So just go to this PC and then click on uh, local drive. And then we are going to go to the program files. And here you can see uh, the Java folder. So I'm going to go inside the Java folder. And once you are inside the Java folder, you will see the JDK directory here. Now in the newer version of uh, Java JDK, you will not see a JRE folder here. So JRE comes with the JDK bundle. So you don't need to, uh, you know, install it separately or uh, do anything here. So just go inside the JDK folder. And now we are going to set the environment variable for our Java command to work with it. So you need to go inside the bin folder for that and then just copy this path up to bin folder inside the Java. So to set the environment variables, you just need to search for environment variables and you will see uh, this result here, which says edit the system environment variables. So search few letters of environment and you will see this result. So just click on this result, which says edit the system environment variables. And then here you need to go to this section, which says environment variables. And now you can add the Java bin environment variable here. So under system variable, you will see this path variable. So just select this and then click on add it. And here you need to click on new and add this path which you have copied. So this is the path up to bin which we have copied. So you just need to click new and then paste this path. So once you have added this, just click on OK. Also, some application requires Java home to be added into the environment variables. So to add Java home in your environment variables, you can just click on new under system variables. So just click on new and then under variable name, just write Java home in capital. So Java underscore home all in capital. And then the variable value will be the JDK folder path. So you just need to go up to JDK folder. You don't need to go inside the bin folder. Okay. So up to JDK folder, just copy this path 
and then just paste it as the variable value and then click OK. We're just going to add this Java home variable into your system variable. Once you are done with this, just click on OK and then click on OK. So this means that Java home variable and Java environment variable is added into your environment variables. Now what we are going to do is we are going to check whether Java command is working with our command prompt or not. So just close any other command prompt which you have previously opened and then just open the command prompt once again. So just write CMD and then just click on command prompt here. And here we are going to check once again Java version command. So I'm going to just write Java hyphen version here and it's going to show the version of uh, Java which you have installed. So we have installed Java 14.0.1. So it's going to show us this result. You can also run the Java C command. So Java C hyphen version and it's also going to show you the Java C version. Now let's do something interesting. So let's compile a Java program with this Java C command. So here I'm going to open my folder explorer and I will navigate to the desktop uh, folder. And here let's create a file. But before that, I'm going to just click on view here and I'm going to just check this checkbox which says file name extension, which is going to show us the file name extension also. Now I'm going to create a new file. So right click and then a new and then uh, let's create this file which says a text document for now and I'm going to just name it as hello world.java okay so make sure that no text extension is here and then press enter which is going to give you this warning which says are you sure you want to change it I will say yes which is going to create this Java file now I'm going to just open this file using a notepad or any other application you can use IDE like Eclipse or NetBeans or IntelliJ IDEA for uh, this purpose also, but we just want to test whether Java is working, so Notepad will be okay. So you can uh, just uh, click on Open With here and then click on uh, Notepad here and then click OK, which is going to open this uh, file using Notepad. And now you can just uh, write a simple Java Hello World program you can uh, search this hello world program anywhere on internet so i'm not going to go into the details just save this file and once the file is saved what you need to do is you just need to close this file and now just open the command prompt once again and then you can just cd to the desktop folder and here to compile your hello world.java file you can just give this command java c and the name of your file which is hello world.java and then press enter and what this is going to do is it's going to compile your hello world.java file and now you can see that this hello world.class file is created into our uh, desktop folder so you can see this uh, file is created this is an executable file so we can run this executable file with the java command so just write java and the name of the executable file you don't need to give the dot class extension at the end here so just write java and the name of your executable file and it's going to run this executable file and uh, it's going to print the result so this is how you can uh, run your java program using this java development kit i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video